sometimes church people. I'm not even going to use the word Christian. I'm going to just say infected with church people can be as phony, as cold, as plastic, as mean, as irresponsible. Can I keep on going? And sometimes the folks that are your people may not be sitting in the church pew next to you. And I don't want anybody to get up and leave or change places this morning. Don't do that. But you can find I'm this way. I can find myself so much more drawn to real men, and my contact will be with men more than ladies, but drawn to, to real guys, and they may not talk Sunday school language all the time. They just may not. I say, Pastor, you mean you, you, what do you do? I say, what did Jesus do when he was invited to the home of Matthew or Levi, the tax gatherer, the tax collector, or Zacchaeus, or others? Luke said, it seemed like there were so many of those professional sinners showing up to hear Jesus, they looked like there wasn't going to be room for them. I guarantee you when Jesus walked into Zacchaeus' house, he didn't, have the, they, he didn't have the Ten Commandments painted on the wall. And, and, and the stuff that would go on in the setting, but somehow Jesus was bigger than all the trash. And he was drawn to the hearts of the people. And when, when, when Levi or Matthew, the writer of the first gospel in, in your New Testament, when, when he would say, come to my house, Jesus, because I want my friends to meet you. Jesus seemed to spend more time with the ones that, were, that the Pharisees and the religious police had a hard time with. Jesus seemed to spend more time with the ones that were the victims of the religious police than he wanted to spend time with the religious police. Jesus would say, you, you're, like, you're like walking over a whitewashed tomb, said to the religious crowd. You got Bible so much in you, they poke you, and, and Deuteronomy 4 comes out. But you're putting pressure on people that you don't even keep the rules of themselves, and I won't be a part of it. So where did he go? He went to the lost. He went to the needy. He went to the broken. He went to the rowdy and the rough and the renegade, but they were at least real. Real. So I'm saying to folks who are listening to this today, if, if, if the only church setting you know feels phony to you, don't go back. I mean, you, you, mean, you mean the Lord might not be mad at me if I didn't attend a system called a church? If, if it's phony, if it's plastic, if it's, if it's full of the things that, that somehow rises up within you to be wrong, don't go back and just get by yourself and say, Lord, will you please lead me to somebody at least that's real? Somebody at least that will be really honest about the sin in my life, the broken places in my life, the, the places that I'm struggling, but will be real saying, I'm open to anything. I'm open to the Lord.